talk. So um, I'm the last speaker. I'll try to keep this, you know, a little quick. My seriously, my head's spinning a little bit. You know, I grew up in Boston, um, and I've always, you know, loved hockey. And, and, and Bobby, nice to see you up here and sharing your emotion and talking about your friends and your teammate. I mean, I started filling up a little bit, and uh, it meant a lot to me. Uh, you know, I'm sitting here with Mark Pavlich's sister. Uh, a teammate that I lost, you know, a uh, good friend, and I, I knew Clark a little bit, obviously not like you guys, but uh, that was very powerful, and he was a wonderful man. And, uh, yeah. uh, one thing about hockey, I will say, uh, hockey is a very emotional sport. When you go back to 1980 and our team, I think that uh, we were full of emotion, and uh, great teams play with their hearts out on their sleeves, and the Islanders definitely did that when they won four Stanley Cups. I watched it, I admired it. Um, it was really fun to hear you guys talk about it tonight. Butch, you were up here as well, it was, it was spectacular, it was in the pack, and uh, the whole story is, you know, like the, the Islanders, the Rangers, you know, New York hockey, this is really special. Like, we were part of it, and, you know, we had one nine-month season where we played in Lake Placid and we won, we won a hockey tournament, right? So. Um, you know, you guys live here, you live in Long Island. You know, I went to college at Boston University with a ton of people from Long Island and, and uh, so the upstate New York here, White Plains and all that. So I do understand New York sports, I understand New York hockey, uh, even though I'm a Boston guy. I have to say when the Red Sox used to lose when I was a kid, I did root for the Yankees. <laughs> I swear to God, I was always been an American League fan until I married my wife who's from St. Louis. And, you know, if I want to have a happy home, I better root for the Cardinals now. But um, <laughs> Anyhow, um, just to, I just want to thank you know Renee for putting this together and, and just compliment everyone that's here tonight that's on the like the roster, the agenda, the first class of the um, you know New York State Hockey Hall of Fame. It's quite an achievement. Some wonderful people here, some great stories, especially the local people. I just want to reiterate what was said earlier. You know, you know what happens in, in, in yeah, you see on TV, you know, you see the Rangers and the Islanders, and we had a lot of guys on our Olympic team. I mean, David Silk and Billy Baker, Rob McClanahan, Mark Pavlich, obviously, all played for the Rangers. You know, Kenny Morrow played for the Islanders. Mike Ramsey played for the Sabres and coached for the Sabres. So we had maybe 10 guys on our 20-man Olympic team, um, you know, that played New York professional hockey. But um, really what hockey's all about, it, I think, is just is the... You know, what people do, I, look, I spent a lot of my life in Chicago, I played for the Blackhawks, and, and you know, again, we involved in a lot of community things, and a lot of the guys coach, coached, and, um, and what you all doing up here, you know, giving back to the community, whether it's coaching, or, you know, you're managing, or you're helping, it's women's hockey, it's men's hockey, um, you know, little kids, mentoring, getting to know little kids, supporting them, I mean, it's really spectacular, and I'm, just my son's here with me tonight. He lives up this, in this area, and uh, you know he played some college hockey. He played college hockey at Bowling College, and he's up here. He's involved in the community of hockey, and 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 that's really our legacy, isn't it? You know, as much as we play and we, you know, we win stuff and we lose stuff and we, you know, we train hard and we play around TV and we get accolades in our life. We get involved in Hall of Fames and all that. But you know, we're we're really here to cheer you people on because. You're really the heart and soul of hockey. So my congratulations to everyone here that reaches out and coaches kids and, and makes you know changes people's lives. You know it's really spectacular. It's great to be in the room. Um, maybe uh, maybe switch gears a little bit. I'm telling you, a stiff neck with this thing. Anyhow, wish I was shorter like Wellesley. <laughs> um, you know, you think about the uh, the 80 Olympic team, um, you know, think about what happened in 1972 in Munich, right? When the, uh, the Muslims came over and, they, you know, the big thing where they, they, they raided the uh, Olympic village. So, you know, the Olympics were, became a political, a place for political activism and, and terrorism, right, in 1972. And by the time we got to Lake Placid in 1980, you know, the Cold War's going on, the Russians, the whole thing, there's hostages in Afghanistan, I mean, it's a nightmare, right? Even when we were kids growing up, you know, we were practicing going to bomb shelters and things. It was a scary time, but we were all very, very proud to be Americans, right? We weren't afraid of anybody, and we're still not. I'm not I don't care. I'm an American first, and that's the way it's going to be. And anyway, so you, know, you go back to Lake Class and you think about it. The, the Olympic Village was actually built to become a medium security prison, okay, because of the security that had to happen in Lake Placid. 
And one of the reasons, uh, one of the things that I was pretty excited about coming here and being part of this and being sort of the, the person that, you know, they asked to receive this award for my team. You know, this is, someone said, I'm going to go up here and talk about myself. I'm really not. I'm going to talk about my team, you know. Um, Herbie and Craig Patrick, you know, who's, who came down with COVID, he turned 76 the other day, you know, and it's funny how you stay in touch with guys. We have this big text chain with everybody, and a lot of our texts now, we have, you know, this 17, 18 guys still around, it's like, you know, one week, so happy birthday, Davey, and everybody's like, oh, happy birthday, it's like 14 texts, and two weeks later, oh, happy birthdays, Mark, and I'm like, 14 texts, I'm like, yeah, it sounded like a bunch of little freaking babies, you know? So Craig Patrick's 76th birthday the other day, and you know, he's like, they're like, happy birthday, Craig, happy birthday, Craig, I'm like, what are we, cartoon characters? So anyway, so I want to get this emoji with this old guy with a cane, some old crotchety guy with a cane, right? And I put that out there. And I go, 76, Jesus Christ, Craig. I thought Buzzy Schneider was old. I thought it was kind of funny, but nobody really laughed. You know? <laughs> Anyhow, you know, we had a great group of guys, and, and again, to the obvious point, you know, I, I, I talked to Kenny a bit, and I know you guys are very close. Um, I know you together, he's just together recently, you know, whatever, but some sad things. But uh, teams that win stay together, even teams that, you know, you don't win. Even in Chicago, I'm friends with all my guys that I play with. You know, we don't win any Stanley Cups. We kept running away in Gretzky. But um, we got close a few times, and that was that. Um, but anyway, we do have stayed in touch. In this part of New York State, and I really appreciate what Butch, what you said about New York State. You know, New York is not New York City. New York State is an amazing place. It's an amazing state. Yeah. Everybody thinks New York City, and I'll tell you what, that's New York City, and I go there a fair bit. I've been in the investment business for about 30 years or more, at 30 years or so. So I'm in and out of New York a fair bit, but I'll tell you what, I like New York State better than I like New York City. And I love this part of New York. I really do. When I think back to 1980s, you know, again, we were, you know, there was a Cold War going on, there was hostages in Afghanistan, and gas goes and all kinds of crazy stuff. A little, a little freaky, but you know, the people here in this part of New York State, from Albany up to Lake Placid, and really all of New York State, I mean, they were so proud to host the Olympics in 1980 in Lake Placid. They volunteered, they stepped up, and I have to tell you and compliment one specific group, it would be the New York State Police. I mean, those guys, I'm telling you, man. I'm a giant fan of police officers anyway. The New York State Police were there for us every single day, watching out for us. And you can imagine, you know, we start winning, right? So all of a sudden, everybody's kind of chasing us around. And we had Herbie Brooks wouldn't let us talk to anybody, which was awesome. But, um, you know, that's just Herb, special as he was. And he, again, Herbie coached the Rangers. You know, again, another New York connection. Craig Patrick, you know, I think he was a GM of the Rangers. And Lester Patrick, I mean, you know, another Ranger guy. So the Olympic team had a lot of New York hockey, professional hockey connections. But getting back to what I was saying, Lake Placid, you know, Olympics, terrorism, you know, Cold War, Russian stuff, I mean, it was a little freaky, but we never worried about a thing because the New York State Police had our backs, and the local cops had our backs, and that put us at ease. And I'm telling you, they were in our locker rooms, they were in the hallways, we became buddies with these guys, I mean, to this day, I've got a house down Hilton Head, and uh, on my keychain for my like my rooms and the doors and all this, I have a New York State Police medallion that's on my keychain that I still have to this day, and I go there a fair bit, and I look at it, and I'm always reminded how much I love those guys. So I just want to say thank you so much. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, yeah I mean. We can't live without these people. I mean, we need public safety, right? This country needs a lot of public safety right now. But anyway, I just want to say how proud we are as a, as a team, as a 1980 Olympic team. Um, we wore that, that you know, the name on the, you know, the name on the front of the jersey is a lot more important than the name on the back, right? That's how teams win, and we all know that. The champions that are in this room know that when it comes to hockey, it's all about the team. It's not about the player. It never has been, and never will be on championship teams. Okay. You play for your teammates. We play for each other, we play for our coaches, we play for our country, and we play for this part of New York State who backed us and supported us and gave us energy to go out there and win that tournament. So thanks for having us as part of this Hall of Fame. 
and uh, we're very proud and honored, okay? And I know Mark Pavich was here, and I'll tell you, that is one of my favorite pictures. Right there, I remember what happened. I was sitting there, I had my arm around Mark. I wish I could put my arms around him right now. I really do. And he'd be very proud to be here today. He wouldn't say anything, you know, but he'd probably just go, yeah, Jack, why don't you go talk? Because, you know, you never shut the hell up. You're an Irish guy. And he did sing me to sleep one night, I swear to God. You know, if I play the music, Jack, I'm like, yeah, whatever, Mark. Play as much as you want. I'm a Boston kid who grew up in the city. It's like, yeah. Smash that guitar over somebody. And whatever. He's like, yeah, go ahead, Mark. And all of a sudden, I was sound asleep. I was like, I love this guy. <laughs> Anyhow, we're so very, very thankful as a team. Uh, I'm really honored to be here to accept it on behalf of my Olympic team. I really enjoyed the discussions tonight. I really enjoyed, you know, the feelings and the emotions and the and the stories of the of the many people from all walks of hockey that have been here tonight. Renee, I can't thank you and your energy for driving this. Uh, you're a special guy. And this is a real special one, so thank you all.